Aries, this is a bonus reading for you guys. I felt like, I don't know, I, I had to have some coffee. And I felt like I was really low energy. I'm never really over the top, but yeah. Anyway, so this is extra. All right, let's see what this is. Five of Pentacles. Taurus energy here. Somebody feels like they're all alone. They're alone in this world. They feel like an outcast too. I still feel like this reading is talking about someone else. Because I don't get that that's you. You may be dealing with a Taurus Gemini person. What's crossing my Aries? Seven of Pentacles. Look at that. I feel like there's somebody that's waiting on you to save them. They're waiting on you to save them. Somebody's been watching you. Somebody really wants to come towards you. Same storyline I'm getting from before. I feel this person feels like they are um, basically not nothing without you, but they could be so much better with you is what I'm getting here. Whatever, whatever went on between you and this person, it's like, I, I, I'm getting that this person almost feels like they felt like the grass was greener on the other side. Whatever that means. And I feel like so, there's something that's definitely changed in them. They're, they shed some skin. And they're wanting so badly to continue what you guys started. What is the underlying issue here for Aries? Underlying issue for Aries. Look at this. Queen of Wands. You guys are fire. I think you're doing your own thing. Your energy is so strong right now. Till this person feels that, I feel, coming from you. And it's so attractive. It's so alluring. and But it's blocking them out. Like... Somebody can really feel when you're like really concentrating on them. This person knows that you're not really concentrating on them. You're doing your own thing. They almost feel like um, they didn't deserve you to begin with. What's going on in the recent past for Aries? We have the sun here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. We have the sun and we have the eight of swords. You no longer feel stuck. You released yourself. You released yourself from your demons of the past, including them. You got your confidence back. You got your happy back. Leo, Gemini energy there. Crowning thoughts for my Aries. Crowning thoughts for my Aries. And then we have the Page of Wands, which showed up in your other reading. You guys are on to new things. There has been um, initial spark that has happened for you. You're excited about life. You're looking at life through a, a different set of lenses is what I'm feeling here. This is that primal energy. Like whatever you feel like you want, you feel like you can get it. <clears throat> What's coming in for Aries? Seven of Cups. Having to make a choice here. Deciding what it is that you want. This person is coming. This person is coming. That is Scorpio energy there. Somebody that was very indecisive before. I feel like somebody's coming with an offering for you. And it's full of emotion. Full of emotion, okay? How is Aries viewing this situation with this person? Because this is all about them again. Very strong here this week. <clears throat> How is Aries viewing her current situation or his current situation? Ten of Pentacles. This was a committed relationship that ended. This was a situation that, that you felt like was a family situation. You guys were going somewhere. You were there. I do feel like it was lacking the emotional component. 
for you. They're coming with it, though. This is Virgo energy here. I feel like you're at this point where you're trying to establish something for yourself and your family. You're trying to build your own legacy apart from this relationship that ended. There's this person that wants that back. They want back what they had. What's the outside influence here? Or what is the influence here in general? What's the influence here? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Taurus is strong in this reading. Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini energies here. I feel that this person basically has come to their senses. They may have consulted uh, someone else. Therapist, father figure, somebody that they trust and they've gotten some good information because I see them coming back wanting to be not an option for you but they definitely want you to consider them and what they are bringing towards you. Will you take this? This is what I have. I choose you. Helps or fears for Aries. Somebody's strong in your reading today. Then we have a King of Cups. Yeah, you're hoping with, that they're coming with something other than money, um, conversation. You want true, raw emotions. Put them out there. Be vulnerable. You want to be fulfilled on an emotional level. Yeah, you know, commitment is great. But are you committed fully? I think you guys want that full commitment. You want that full commitment. You want somebody to be dedicated to you in every way. And I think that's why this King of Cups is coming here. Can you be this King of Cups? And not the freaking, you know, King of Swords all the time like we saw in your first reading. That's what you want. Overall outcome for Aries. Oh, wow. That's a devil there. Capricorn energy. Hmm. You know, honestly, with this right here, I feel like this person is so drawn to you. That is crazy because before you thought they could give or take you I don't think that ever was the case they didn't want you to get so comfortable in the relationship that you hurt them first so they hurt you this person's always been here they've always been here they are so attracted to you they feel like you you guys are like bound together forever even if you're not with them. Hmm. So, that is what I have for you guys. Think on that. <laughs> Alright guys, <clears throat> I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.